for three. Cairo government. Model number three, number one, choose the correct answer from the given. Number one, the sum of measure of the acuity for angles at the point space, the sum of measure of accurate eight angles. It will be equal to because the sum of measure of accurate uh, any angles at the point it will be 360 degree then the result here will be equal to number one equal to y because accurate angles it will be all straight line bisect in the one point if we have four angles such that one two three four four angles and eight angles one two three four five six seven we have if we have eight angles such that here divided it into two parts one two three four five six seven eight again one two three four five six seven eight eight angles some of them equal 360 degree and if we have four angles the result of all accurate angle it will be 360 degree then it will be equal to okay it was question number one right equal to Question number two, if measure of angle A equal 150, then the measure of reflex A, it will be what? Measure of reflex angle A, it will be 360 subtract this angle. He give us measure of angle A equal 150 degree. Then measure of reflex angle A, 360 subtract by 150. 6 minus 5 it will be 1 and 3 1 minus 1 equal 2 then the result will be 220 degree understood question number 3 if triangle ABC congruent triangle XYZ a measure of angle X plus measure of angle Z equal 140 is a measure of angle B we have triangle ABC Congruent another triangle x and y and z. Then this side equals this side a lens and z y equal c b and c a equal z x in the lens. We know this triangle here congruent another triangle and we know the sum of interior angles in each triangle equal one hundred eighty. He gives me the example sum of measure x and measure of angle z. Some of them. It will be what 140. Then we can find measure of angle B by 8 to angle Z as a result subtract from 180. Then measure of angle B it will be 180 subtract by 140. Right 0 and 8 minus 4 it will be 4. Then the result will be 40 degree. It's the measure of angle B. Okay, because measure of angle B. It will be what 108 subtracts a measure of angle A and C and give us measure of angle X plus Z. It will be what 140. Then measure of angle C plus measure of angle A, it will be again 140 because measure of angle X equal measure of angle of A, measure of angle Z equal measure of angle C. Some of them equal 140. Then 180 subtracted by 140, it will be 40 degree. Question number four. If L1, L2, L3 are three common planar straight lines, L1, L2, L3 are coplanar straight lines, L1 parallel to L2, and L3 perpendicular to L1, then we want to find the relation between L1 or L3 and L2. Okay, I will draw here in the same plane. We have three here, L1 was parallel to L2 and L3 parallel to we have L3 perpendicular to L1 then L3 will be perpendicular to L2 okay because L1 parallel L2 and L3 perpendicular to L1 then L3 was perpendicular to L2 it will be what perpendicular then L3 perpendicular to L2. Understood? This is question number 4.
it shows letter P. L3 perpendicular to L2, okay? Question number five. The angle whose measure is 89 degree, it will be what? 89 degree lies between 0 degree and 90 degree. We called it acute angle. It will be an acute. Acute angles, okay? Choose letter A. Question six. The acute angle supplement space angles. Acute angles supplement its meaning what? Supplement is its meaning sum of two angles. It will be one hundred eighty. Then, if we have acute angle here, we called it acute angle supplement is obtuse angles. Acute angle supplement is what? I called it what? Obtuse angles. Okay. Then supplement is about what? Obtuse angles. Question 6, it shows the tar C. The acute angles, supplement is obtuse angles. Question number 2, completes the following. Number 1, if AB set line, a line segment AB congruent line segment CD and AB was 5 cm, then twice AB subtract by cd we know the side length about eb equals side length of cd then 2 times 5 it will be 10 and cd will 5 10 minus 5 it will be 5 centimeter the result will be 5 centimeter number two in the opposite figure we won't find the value of x here we have straight line and we have three angles some of them equal 180 degree we have here a straight line, this angle x degree, and this angle was 35 degree, and this angle 90 degree. Okay, then x plus 35 plus 90, it will be what? 180 degree. Then we can find the measure of angle x or the value of x here, 108 subtract sum of 35 and 90, 100 it subtract by 5 plus 0 equal 5, 9 plus 3 equal 12. The result will be what? 10 minus 5 will be 5, and 7 minus 2, 5. The result will be 55 degree. Okay, because we have three angles lies in the same straight line, the outlier sides. In the different direction, it's meaning this angle will be 180 degree. Angle of straight line equal 100 degree. Question here number three: the measure or the angle of measure 70 degree complements an angle of measure what? Complements its meaning sum of them equal 90 degree. Then question number three: complement this is this angle 70, right? 90 subtract by 70, it will be 20 degree. Because the angle 70 complement is angle 20 because some of them equal will be what equal 90 degree but uh, supplementary angles and supplement this uh, angle of measure what 180 subtract by this angle 70 it will be 110 degree then we must write in the first space here 20 and in the second space 110 then question number two, the angle of measure 70 degree complement is an angle of measure what? Complement is 20 degree, right here 20, okay? And supplement is uh, angle of what? Com supplement is angle 110 degree. And then question number four, sum of measure of interior angles of triangle equal 180, sum of interior angles of triangle equal 180 degree. Question number five. The two adjacent angles whose outer side, outer sides are with the same straight line are supplementary. We have here two angles supplementary because the outer sides in the same direction here it will be congruent, but it will be left hand side and right hand side, the different direction and in the same straight line 
It means some of them it will be 100 degree. We call it supplementary angles. Then the two adjacent angles. We call it what here? The two adjacent angles. It's the first angle, second angles. The two adjacent angles whose both are outer sides. We call it outer sides. It's the first and second sides. We call it outer sides. Outer sides are in the same straight line or supplementary. We call it what? Supplementary. Supplementary, okay? The two adjacent angles whose outer sides are on the same straight line are supplementary. Question number five, the two adjacent angles whose outer sides are on the same straight line, we call that supplementary. It's meaning some of them equal 180 degrees, okay? Now we want find measure of angle BEC and length of EB about this triangle here. We have two triangles congruent, okay? First triangle ADB will congruent to this triangle CDB, okay? Because measure of angle C equal measure of angle A equal 90 degree, and this uh, side length AD equal CD, and we have common hypotenuse between them BD, okay? This question here, letter A, such as that, in two triangles ADB or ABD, and next triangle here we have APD and CPD in two triangles we have this side length ED was equal to CD and BD slice a common we called it common hypotenuse okay we can have here we have here common hypotenuse okay we called it common hypotenuse this side length bd we called it what common hypotenuse between two triangles okay we have here common hypotenuse okay and bd was equal to again ed was equal to cd and you give us measure of angle e equal measure of angle C equal 90 degree we have right angle triangles then the first triangle here will be congruent first triangle EBD will be congruent and next triangle CPD these two triangles are congruent okay so we can prove that here two triangle are congruent and we can find uh, the measure of angle ABD here will be equal measure of angle CBD it will be equivalent and we can find the measure of angle ABD here from the first triangle by 890 plus 30 subtract the result from 180 because sum of interior angles in triangle equal 180 degree then we can write measure of angle ABD will be equal to measure of angle CBD equal 108 subtract by 90 plus 30 it will be 180 subtract by 120 it will be 60 degree okay then we can find measure of angle APC here it will be a PC it will be 120 because BD will be bisect this angle divided into quality angles equal the measure each of one of them equals 60 60 plus 60 equal 120 degree okay and the side length AP will be equal side length CP will be equal 3 centimeter understood okay next question letter p in the opposite figure is de parallel to cf or not here okay he give us in the example here 
straight line EP was parallel to straight line CD and the ray DE parallel to the ray CF. Okay, we can prove that. We have measure of angle A equal 130, the measure of angle 30 equal 100. It is subtracted by 130, it will be 50 degree. We called it what we have two angles in the same side, it's about the uh, transversal. CA we call transversal between the ray AB and the ray CD. And we have interior angles here, A and C, we call the interior angles in the same side of transversal. Okay. I will write here steps, write with me, steps about letter P here. You want to prove that uh, this straight line parallel or not, you ask her about uh, CF parallel to ED or not. If you found here in the example, a measure of angle C equal measure of angle D equal 25, we call the tornado angle, then CF will be parallel to ED. First step here, we can write such that in this example, we have inter angles, okay? Such that AB parallel to CD and CA transversal of two straight line or two sides here. Okay, I will write here. First question, he want to prove that. Is DE parallel to CF or not? DE parallel to CF or not? Okay, we have here, it will be true. Why? I will write here, yes. Why? I will write the proof here. Okay, yes, exactly. Why? Because measure of angle A plus measure of angle C equal 180 degree then we can find measure of angle C 180 subtract 130 it will be 50 degree and then CF plus exist angles equality angles uh, 50 divided by 2 equal 25 each one of them then measure of angle C F D equal measure of angle D equal 25 we call that to tornate angles okay such as that measure of angle A C D it will be 180 subtract by measure of angle B, A, C. Okay. Why? We called it interior angles in the same size of transfer. It will be 180 subtract by 130. It will be 50 degree. And such that we have CF. The ray CF, we called it what? Bisects. Bisect this, okay. Angle D C A. Then measure of angle D C A. Measure of angle D C A. Let's bisect it. We give us measure of angle D C A. We get it here, but D C A was 50 degree. Then we can find measure of angle D C F. D C F will be 50 divided by 2 it will be 25 degree this angle 25 degree then we found here measure of angle D C F equal measure of angle D equal 25 degree we called it alternate angles they are Alternate angles. Alternate angles, C meaning CF will be parallel to D. It will be parallel to. Understood? Next question. Here we won't find measure of angle AC. E, okay, in this example, we want to find this angle. Okay, we can find the proof about this example by using here we have two interior angles in the same transfer. Measure of angle here 35 subtracted by 108 to find this angle. It was question here. Number four, letter A. Look at steps with me to know solution. Now it means measure of angle ACE. You want to find this angle ACE. Okay. First step, we have EP parallel to 
the ray ED was parallel to CD so it was parallel and we have EC straight line EC transverse transverse some of them cut of them then measure of angle E will be here measure of angle A A he give us this degree then measure of angle ACD these angles it will be 180 subtract by 60 it will be 120 degree we call that interior angles in the same size of the transversal and such that CD was parallel to EF and CE out of them we call transversal then measure of angle E plus measure of angle D measure of angle D D C E it will be 180 degree the measure of angle DCE 180 subtract uh, 35 10 minus uh, 5 be 5 7 minus 3 4 it will be 145 degree and then we can find measure of angle EC here by accumulative angles we are accumulative angles sum of three angles here it will be 180 then measure of angles A C E equals 360 subtract by 120 and 145 120 plus 145 then we can write 360 subtract by 4 plus 2 6 1 plus 1 equal 2 then uh, the difference between 360 and 200 65 10 minus 5 it will be 5 15 minus 6 it will be 9 the result will be 95 degree okay next question draw angles here 100 degree and the bisect is okay we can draw by using ruler do the ray and the retractor this angle measure of it equal 100 20 degree and bisect it using compass stand here and draw the arc and here this point draw by using compass that's a section of one point and then draw the ray here bisect the two angles equality in the measure and don't remove the arcs okay last question here you want to find the value of x we have a lot of angles five angles commutative at one point then we can find here the measure of value x here we have sum of all angles here equal 360 we call it accumulative angles okay but we have uh, two questions draw okay question number two draw a b was six centimeter a b line segment six centimeter and bisect it uh, stand here this point and draw the arc up and down and stand here draw up and down and then draw straight line here it will be bisect it and perpendicular it will be a line symmetry about the base okay i will solve the example to find the value of x we have commutative angles here some of them equal 180 degree uh, no no 360 because we call it a commutative angle but if we have a straight line we will find the result subtract from 180 but this example commutative angle then we can write uh, steps about this angle we can find the measure of angle uh, m is angle m a m d equals 360 okay we can write measure of angle 
AMD equal 360 subtract by all angles here it will be what we have 40 plus 100 plus 120 it will be 360 subtract by 0 2 plus 4 6 sorry 1 0 6 minus 6 equals 0 it will be 200 okay and plus 1 2 it will be 100 100 degree then uh, the measure of this angle was 4x then 4x it will be 100 we can divide it by 4 then x will be 25 degree the measure of this angle will be 25 degree last question or not this last question no we have another example we have here two triangles we want to find the measure of angle ebd we can prove that two triangles was congruent here first triangle bae and triangle bae and another triangle we have two triangles here bae and dcb okay b a e and d uh, c p two triangles here are congruent why because he give us a e was equal c p okay and b e equal what equal p d b e equal p d and the measure of angle E equal measure of angle C equal 90 degree triangle angles triangles okay then measure of angle CBD it will be measure of angle E okay again look at here c b d c b d here b uh, a e b e e b here this angles e equal what we can find the measure of angle e in the first triangle 180 subtract sum of two angles here 90 plus 70 180 subtract by 7 plus 9 it will be 6 write 0 and right here too it will be 20 degree okay this angle is here it will be 20 then he won't find the measure of angle EBD EBD this straight line we have straight line the measure of this straight line it will be what 180 we can find the measure of this angle by right 180 subtract 70 plus 20 okay right 180 subtract by 70 plus 20 right 180 subtract by 90 it will be 90 degree understood the result here it will be 90 degree